study says Germans are religiously tolerant except for Islam and Muslims. So they're tolerant of all religions except Islam and Muslims. Okay, this this is an excuse for us to say, you know, I'm not bringing, I'm, you know, so how you know how we say every time we talk about Islam, other people bring other religions to to ch to bring attention away. I'm going to do that here myself right now. But I, I, my excuse is that the title makes you forces you to do so because it's saying they're tolerant of other religions. Okay, so I am going to bring up other religions in this. But let me just read the summary first. Summary says according to a recent study by the German Bert. Tells, I'm not even going to try. So I'm very hard to read German thing. Uh, religious tolerance is widespread in Germany, but that does not apply to all religions. The result of a recent study by the Germ by Germany based again that weird name that I can't read foundation showed that half of Germans uh, perceive Islam as a threat. Well, it shouldn't be half. It should be everybody. Researchers from the organization found that 87% of those survey are, surveyed are generally open to other world worldviews, except when it came to Islam. So, 80, so half of the people in Germany are like, "Yeah, Islam is a threat." This is pretty high. I, I mean, it's, I mean, it should be higher, but for a country that is trying to, that its politicians are trying to be so PC, its people at least are not. At least half of them haven't been brainwashed like that which is kind of good but i wish it was more than half but it seems like 80 so here's the reason why i have to bring up other religions okay because as much as as shitty as islam is and as more as 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 harmful as it is i mean it's it's, it's the worst religion uh, alive today okay the most harmful one but the fact that 87% of Germans think other religions are okay is kind of scary to me, okay? 87% of them think like Christianity is okay? I mean, this is a, supposed to be a very modern, uh, advanced country. Like, Christianity is a threat. I agree it's not as big of a threat as Islam is, but it's a threat. It's a threat. It has, it has barbaric backwards uh, ideas that is it doesn't belong in the modern world it needs to, Christianity needs to die it's a threat to our modern ways of living okay so 87 percent of people in Germany think other religions are okay that's that's concerning what do you think you know I mean? yeah I mean I mean I agree that uh, Islam is a threat but I mean this what they're saying is like they think that only just one third of the German population saw Islam as enriching to society, while almost everyone perceives like other religions like Christianity, Hinduism, Judaism, Buddhism to be enriching to the society. I mean, are they talking about? Uh, uh, I mean, the views or the art and architecture over here because if they're talking about like uh, enriching to the society, it can be either like uh, their morals and their views and their ethics and all but if they're talking about like the art and everything like i think islamic art and architecture are pretty good and all i mean they can enrich the society from that view i mean that side from art but if it comes to values and morals and all then every religion is bad islam islam is the worst but every religion is bad yeah i mean the title makes it um confusing the title says of on Islam and Muslims, it's kind of using Islam as a Muslims interchangeably, which is you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. And actually, one of the to one of the top comments is actually suggests that there's a huge confusion. He's saying, so the top comment says, "We love freedom in Germany, so people in favor of Sharia law aren't welcome. People who come here to work don't cause problems and fully respect the country's values and liber um, and liberties." are most welcome no matter the religion okay so i think we people should really start talking about the religion and the people differently um there could be a lot of muslims that don't take islam very seriously i mean the, the idea itself is a threat there's no there's no two ways but you know this is it's pretty it's the idea is does not is not incompatible with 
not just Germany, but with our planet, okay? The things that Islam promotes are, makes people, you know, makes societies much less free, much less equal, much less liberal, much less humane society, okay? Those are the values that are promoted. But you can't, we're not taking, we're not, that the, being, seeing Islam as a threat does not mean seeing every Muslim as a threat, okay? Most Muslims have never even fucking read the Quran. Most Muslims have no idea what the, which, most, I go ask Sunnis, what are the most authentic sources of Hadith? They have no fucking idea what you're talking about, okay? So, most Muslims are pretty good people, okay? So when you say Islam is a threat, that doesn't mean Muslims are a threat, okay? Ideas spread in many different ways. And this this title says Islam and Muslims. So I don't know, our Germans are... Because if, if, if Germans are saying Muslims as a threat, that makes Islam more of a threat, okay? Let me say this. If you say... If you say so many background noise. Sorry about that. But if you see Muslims as a threat... Ah, oh, God damn it. Okay, it's, it's gone. If you say, if you see Muslims as a threat, that helps Islam becoming a greater threat. Because then you're, instead of inviting Muslims to moving away from Islam, or at least taking it less seriously, then you're pushing Muslims more towards Islam when you see them as a threat, okay? So, let me see. Okay, in the in the YouTube live chat, right. uh, James is is saying that I think your defeated idea isn't much of a threat anymore. Uh, I disagree with James because uh, while the uh, idea has been defeated, like I mean, science has proven Islam are wrong, but I mean there are many people. There are uh, almost like uh, 1.8 billion people who think. Uh, I'm not 1.8 billion, but there are over a billion people who think that the ideas, the values which are presented by Islam are right, and they follow those values, which is uh, the problem. I wait. mean, he puts his... No, no, but yeah. Muslims think, okay, here's the difference, okay? If you ask Muslims, and most Muslims, do you think Islam is true and you should follow the rules? They're like, yeah, yeah, you should, okay? But then he asked them, like, okay, I'm, a, I'm an ex-Muslim. Do you want to kill me? They're like, no, 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 I don't want to kill you, right? Yeah. Um, so there's a, it's just weird psychology. But what I'm, what I'm just saying is that be intolerant of Islam, but be tolerant to Muslims. Yes, and exactly. So be, uh, the thing is that the more friendly you are to Muslims, the easier it is to finally destroy Islam one day, right? Because the thing is that you have to think about it like the battle that you're fighting is, is not between non-Muslims and Muslims. The battle that you're fighting is within each Muslim. And to be able to get in the, you know, be able to fight that ideological fight within each Muslim, you have to first pass the, you have to get through to them. You have to make them drop their guard, right? You're not going to be able to uh, defeat Islam by just you know, making Muslims afraid uh, and, you know, threatening them or, call, you know, being um, unkind to them, that's just going to make their, bring their guards up and it's going to make it even harder for you to even make any, change any opinions. Like, that's the best way to grow Islam. Hey, actually, if you want to grow Islam, just be mean to Muslims. The, uh, religions f grow, feed on victimhood. Um, yeah, let me they, they religions play the victim card the best. Yeah, especially if you're actually being the victim, then that that's just you know. This is why the religious leaders just want Muslims to be oppressed they just, because it's such a powerful fuel for their gro growth. Then it's the saying: only one third of German population saw Islam as enriching to society. Only yeah, that's one third is really okay. Enriching when you say art and stuff. I I mean I agree with that because I think like. I enjoy, you could enjoy like Mayan art, right? Ancient Mayan culture and art. That doesn't mean, but that doesn't mean that you, again, the culture that we're talking about is not about the values. The culture that we're talking about is about the art, the painting, the history, right? If I enjoy I, uh, Mayan history and art, that doesn't mean that I believe in human sacrifice. Mayans believe in human sacrifice as a way to please their gods, right? 
So just because you look at the buildings and you're like, oh yeah, that's pretty, that doesn't mean now you 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 agree with their barbaric values, right? So yeah, you could look at the mosque and you could look at an Islamic painting, which um, or, and or, or calligraphy and be like, wow, that's pretty. And you could enjoy it, but that doesn't mean that you agree that gay people should be killed. You know, you could still call out. You don't believe that women are women should be. Uh, what you don't agree with wife beating. You don't agree with slavery. Uh, you don't agree that non-Muslims should be tortured for eternity. And these are all things that Islam promotes and teaches. So enjoy the art, look at it. But that you know that's fine. That doesn't mean that. Don't feel like. Don't reject everything that is beautiful just because you you don't like the ideology. Okay, you you, you could look at Christian. You know when when you look at Michelangelo, when you look at uh, da Vin, you know Da Vinci's paintings and stuff, they are Christian themed. They're still beautiful. I still think Christianity is bullshit, and I go to a cathedral and I enjoy watching at a cathedral. It's fucking beautiful. Okay, there is no hypocrisy there, right? But anyway, so yeah, you can enjoy art, music, dance food uh, those things are enriching but reject the values okay this is the part of culture that you should reject when it comes to values when it comes to food and dance and art you know it's all subjective what is superior and what is not superior okay so enjoy whatever multi multicultural all the way you know enjoy whatever you want but when it comes to values and a way of life there are superior values and their inferior values, and the inferior values need to die. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.